All right, so today is a very exciting day because Fujifilm Instax just announced a new product and it's the Mini Evo and we're gonna talk about it. But first, let me go get a coffee. All right, that's a nice looking coffee and delicious. So the Instax Mini Evo is a hybrid camera slash printer. So you're gonna be able to take some digital images and then print them on Instax film. Now, before we get any further, let's have a look at what comes in a box. So you'll get an instruction manual with all the information you need to get it started. You're going to get a USB cable, which has a USB-A connector on one side, and then we have a micro USB on the other end. Next up, we have a camera strap. Nice leatherette strap and then if we look on either end we do have a small clip that can be removed so we can attach the strap or remove it from the camera very easily and then finally we get this beautiful instax mini evo so the instax mini evo is quite frankly a very nice looking camera with a very kind of luxe feel to it with all these silver accents and then this nice leatherette around the camera body and if we look around at my considered key components of the camera, we have the lens out in the front, which is a 28 millimeter f2.0 lens. So very fast aperture. And then that 28 millimeter lens also has a digital zoom of 3.2 times if you wanna get a little bit closer. And then around we have the lens ring, which will allow us to navigate through the various lens filters. Now in the front, we can see we have an LED flash as well as a front shutter button. And then we also have a selfie mirror if you want to take selfies and frame ourselves properly. Now looking on the top of the camera, we have the film dial, which will allow us to navigate through the different film options. Next to it, we have the accessory shoe or the cold shoe so that you can use to mount various accessories like an LED light if you wanted to have a little bit more light onto your image. On the top, we do have another shutter button and then we have the print lever, which is a little thing that makes this camera even nicer. So you take your image and if you wanna print it, you simply crank up the print lever and then your print comes out. On either side of the camera, we do have our strap lugs, which I'm a big fan of because you can use your own strap if you want it. And then looking at the bottom of the camera, we have a quarter thread so that we can mount the camera onto a tripod. Looking on the other side of the camera, we do have a little door that we can pull, and then that gives us access to the charging port, which is the micro USB port. And then right next to it, we have a micro SD slot. So if we wanted to store more images. So I did mention the accessory shoe on the top and that's something that I really appreciate because again, you can just get that extra brightness by adding a small LED light on the top of the camera and then have it constantly on so that you can preview your exposure. And then at the back, we also have a nice big screen to frame our images and review them. Now, as I mentioned, the Mini Evo features lens filters. So we have access to 10 different lenses and that includes things like half frame and double exposure and then you can navigate through them simply by rotating the lens ring around the lens itself. Now, my preferred one would be the double exposure in the half frame because that can open up a lot of creative options. Now let's talk about the film dial. So pretty similar to the lens, you will rotate it to navigate through the various film filters so that you can have a blue or red or yellow tone, or you could have a retro look to it, monochrome even. The camera also features the rich and natural mode. So the rich mode will give you much more vivid colors and then the natural mode will be a little bit more true to life, less saturated kind of image. So you have the option to choose. As I mentioned before, we do have a flash on the camera so we can force the flash, we can make it auto so the camera will evaluate if it needs to flash or not, or we can completely disable it if we know that we don't wanna flash, we want to purposely have a slow exposure and maybe make a blurring effect. With the Mini Evo, you also have some macro possibilities. You can get as close as 10 centimeters from your subject. So you can get up close and get a nice macro looking shot of whatever you wanna shoot. Now lastly, as I mentioned, this is a hybrid between an Instax camera and a printer, so it can act as a smartphone printer as well. So you can connect the Mini Evo to your smartphone and then use the app to do various things. 
So you can take images from your smartphone and do simple prints. And then from there, you can do various adjustments like contrast and saturation. You can crop in, rotate the image, and then print it. You can also do some remote shooting with a live view on your smartphone. So that's where having that tripod mounting ability comes in handy. So you can have the camera set onto a tripod and then remotely trigger it from your smartphone. So that could be useful in lower light situations, for example. And then you can also transfer the images you printed with the mini Evo to your smartphone with an Instax border. So that's a really nice feature if you wanna post images onto social media and then have that nice looking Instax border around your image. All right, so by now you probably know that I'm a big fan of Instax products. And then I'm really happy that this new Instax Mini Evo uses mini film because it is the perfect size to gift someone. Because if you give them the picture, they can simply put it into their wallet and then carry it home safely. All right, so that'll be it for this quick look at the brand new Fujifilm Instax Mini Evo. And then now it's playtime. <laughs>